My name is Judy Minage, and I was born in Irunza village in Maragoli, which is under Vihiga County in Kenya. This is in the western part of Kenya. We have a local school that my family has attended and we went to school there. And um, as I went to visit most recently, I realized that the school is in dire need and they need a lot of help. And sometimes when you are privileged or when some of us leave the village, people move on to the big cities, to Nairobi, and they get their big jobs and they forget where they came from. It's important for us to uplift people in our community because if we can uplift this community, then the basic living standards are gonna go up. My name is Edward Mtange, the teacher of Wilonza Primary School. I've been the teaching profession for 30 years. Yes, at least, and I like teaching. I like to see these children grow. Those of us have taught, they have done good things. When I meet them, I'm really very happy about that. I firmly believe that every child deserves access to an outstanding education, regardless of their background or circumstances. I want to share our vision for our beloved local school, Ilunza Primary School, and to seek your support in helping us realize our goals. By supporting Ilunza Primary School, you will be making a direct impact on the lives of our future leaders, innovators, and contributors to society. With your generous contribution, we intend to address the following improvement for this local village school. I'll categorize the support into uh, three categories. Uh, the first one is infrastructural support. We need to be able to refurbish the classes by making sure that the floors are done, the windows are repaired, uh, the roofs uh, of the classes are fixed so that when it rains, uh, the students are not rained on, uh, but more importantly also just um, the paintwork uh, to be able to make sure that the classes are in a habitable state. We've broken it down into a couple of things. We'll need to do um, the floors, um, and that cost us around $5,000. Uh, we need to be able to fix the windows. That will cost us uh, $3,000. For us to be able to take care of the roof, uh, we need an estimated budget of $10,000. Painting, uh, it's around $3,500 for us to address the whole paintwork for the school, for us to be able to provide uh, a nice uh, small kitchen for where the meals can be prepared. Uh, we have an estimated budget of $2,000. Cost of importance is for us to be able to ensure that there is water and clean uh, water that is available uh, for the students. Um, and this can be done either by us uh, uh, repairing uh, the borehole and the well that is on the school, but also for us making sure that there is sufficient storage uh, for this water. That will cost us around $2,000 in addition to providing a way in which we can harvest that water, um, either from the wells or uh, from the gutters, uh, we need to be able to lay out that infrastructure. And for us to be able to do that, uh, we need around $1,300. For us to be able to really sort out the infrastructure arrangement for the school, um, the estimated cost for us to be able to do that uh, is around uh, $20,000. I think the other key thing that we need to be able to support or we seek support from is the learning amenities. We have an average uh, population size per class of around 45 students. Uh, the seating arrangements is very poor, so we desire to have some desks where these uh, children can be able to sit. Uh, and for us to be able to do that, we need uh, $6,000 uh, to be able to provide desks for all the 12 uh, classes uh, that will ensure that none of our students are sitting on the floor or, or we have more than uh, you know six students sitting or cramped up in a small desk as you may have seen. We need to be able to provide 
some library uh, for these students, um, a place where they can go uh, and get the right level of exposure. Um, having a computer room for them and, and with the right facilities is extremely important, especially in this era uh, where uh, the need to access information uh, and the need to access uh, technology is very, very central. We think that it would be very useful for us to provide them some sets of computers, uh, but also a printer uh, that can support you know, their learning. And we've set out a budget of around $2,000 to be able to do that. A small library uh, for the kids, uh, providing the necessary uh, textbooks um, and learning books uh, that are in line with their curriculum will be around $1,000. Lastly, um, it's a, the issue of nutrition. Um, uh, we feel that for us to be able to keep and retain uh, these students in school, uh, it's important that we supplement their nutritional requirements. Most of them do come from uh, an, an average family of around five. Um, with the kind of incomes around the school, we find that there are some families that are challenged and the kids are not able to uh, get enough nutrition at home. By providing some meals, basic meals in school, will be able to not only attract the kids that come to this school, but also retain them. We have a budget of around uh, um, $15,000 per annum uh, to be able to sustain a school feeding program uh, for the school. Um, and what that does is that it allows the school to stay. And as I said, it's a, a feeding program for around 250 uh, students uh, coming to the school and that is very very important. On our journey to make learning more accessible for everyone, Erunza should have an impact both academically and behaviorally on our students. To ensure this, they should have basic learning materials such as blackboards, books and other reading materials, pens and pencils and their own desks for each student in the class. Staff are also a very crucial component to education. We should make sure our staff have a conducive environment so that they are motivated to teach our students. Just think about it. One day, your child could win a doctorate. They could graduate Valley Victorian from an Ivy League. They may even just be president. Big starts small. So think, how can you make a difference? My name is Jasmine Eganza and I belong to a small village called Erunza. Erunza is my community, my home, my people, and they deserve a top-notch education. Because as they used to say, a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.